Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate your presence. I appreciate your prayers and your continued support. It means a lot to have you here. I appreciate you. God bless you. If this is your first time with us, you're welcome. Welcome to the family of God and to our beautiful community. You've joined a community that prioritizes building and maintaining personal relationship with God. A community of people who are seeking to grow in their faith and connect with God through his word. God speaks to us in this community. He moves in our midst and he lives here. If this sounds like a community you would like to be a part of, Click on the subscribe button and let's, let's begin to grow together. I pray this word blesses you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The word I'm about to share is a specific word for someone. I've been receiving a lot of specific words from the Lord recently. It feels as if God is narrowing his focus on individuals tailoring his messages to meet, to meet people, to meet us right where we are. I'm always willing and ready to share whatever word he gives me, whether it is a specific message for one person or a broader message for many. Let's pray before we dive into this message. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for protection and your constant presence in our midst and in our lives. We are grateful, Lord, for your love and mercy that renews every morning. Lord, we say thank you. Father, we ask for forgiveness for any sins we've committed. Lord, we ask that you purify our hearts. And prepare us to receive your word today. Lord, I surrender myself to you. Use me as your mouthpiece to deliver your message clearly and accurately. May your children be blessed and transformed by what they hear today. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In this message, I'm going to provide detailed descriptions, everything God has shown me about this message and the person it is intended for. And this will help you to know if this word is meant for you or not. For the person this word is for, I saw a person who at a crucial time in your life went out of their way to impart knowledge and resources to you. They didn't just offer a helping hand, they invested heavily in your growth, almost like raising you in that field or area of expertise. I saw them literally holding your hand, guiding you step by step, ensuring that you gain the skills, the wisdom and understanding you need to stand on your own. This person wasn't just a casual mentor or advisor. They poured everything they had into you. They poured their time, their energy, and even their resources into your life, making sure you had everything you needed to succeed. They made sacrifices. They took risks and went the extra mile because they believed in your potential. They saw something in you worth nurturing and they took it upon themselves to, to train you, to teach you, to help you and to see you flourish. Now, as I look deeper into the vision, I saw that you've come a long way since then. You are now standing on your own two feet, confident and capable in your field. You've achieved a level of success that you once only dreamt of. In many ways, you've made it, <laughs> at least. That is what you think. You've reached a point where you feel so self-sufficient, as if you've arrived and no longer need the guidance or support 
that once brought you this far. But here is what the Lord is saying to you today. I mean the person this word is for. The Lord says, you are not as independent as you think. I'm going to repeat that. The Lord says you are not as independent as you think. Yes, you've accomplished much, but there's still so much more to learn. So many new skills, insight, and innovations that you haven't even scratched the surface of yet. You may feel like you've reached the top, but there are higher peaks to climb, says the Lord deeper wells of knowledge to draw from and greater level of sources that God wants to take you to. For this person, for the person this word is for, the Lord says, go back and appreciate your patron. Patron was the word or term that I heard. I looked up what this word means and it says, Someone who gives significant support or approval to a person, a cause, or an endeavor. A patron is someone who invests in another, not just financially, but with the intent to see them thrive, grow, and succeed. Even though you think you are now independent, the Lord showed me that you are not. There's still so much more to be gained from the wealth of knowledge, experience, and wisdom that your patron possesses, says the Lord. The Lord says they hold keys to doors you haven't even considered knocking on yet. They have insight into new trends, new technologies, and strategies that could revolutionize the way you work and make your effort more efficient, your results more rewarding, and your journey far easier than it has been. From what I saw, your patron is not expecting anything from you. They didn't help you with the expectation of a return favor. However, God wants you to go back and honor them. I feel like repeating that. God wants you to go back and honor them. Show your appreciation, not just out of courtesy, but out of recognition of the role they played in your life. Proverbs 18, 16 says, A man's gift, given in love or courtesy, makes room for him and brings him before great men. The Lord says your act of appreciation we do more than just show gratitude it will open doors to even greater opportunities there is more that your patron can impart to you there are dimensions of knowledge and skill that you haven't even begun to explore if you would humble yourself and obey what god is saying to you today I see the Lord using the same person again. I see the Lord using the same person again to impart more new wisdom in that line or industry to you. I see them introducing you to cutting edge tools, advanced strategies and innovative ideas that will set you apart from the rest. Your, your work will become easier, more efficient, and more rewarding because you'll be operating with fresh insights and resources that only a true patron can provide. Oh, thank you, Father, for this revelation. This is the word of the Lord for you. I pray it's a blessing. I pray it confirms what God has already shown you or what he's been talking to you about. Thank you, Father, for the wisdom and guidance you've provided us through this word. Lord, we acknowledge the impacts and the importance of gratitude, the significance of honoring those you've placed in our lives as vessels of blessings. Lord, we pray for a heart of humility and discernment to recognize the people who have sown 
into our lives, helping us to grow and succeed. May we never take them for granted in the name of Jesus. May we never take their investment, the investment they made in us for granted. And may we be able to go back according to your instruction to show appreciation as you have directed us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for your continued guidance as we move forward in obedience. We know that you have more in store for us, more than we could ever imagine. Father, help us to remain open to the lessons and wisdom that come from those who have walked the path before us. Let us not be prideful or complacent, but instead give us the grace to reach out, to humble ourselves and to learn more and continue to grow in the areas you've called us to. Father, I pray that as we take this step of obedience, you will open new doors of opportunities and revelation. Let the knowledge and resources we receive propel us to greater heights in our journey and make our work more efficient, make our impact more profound and our lives more fulfilling in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray, let every seed of gratitude we sow be a key that unlocks new levels of your divine favor and provision in our lives. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for the people you've placed in our path as mentors, as guides, as supporters and patrons. I ask that you bless them abundantly for their sacrifices and investment. Let their lives be enriched as they have enriched our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that we will always, always walk in your light, following your lead and growing in the purpose you have set before us. Lord, we'll receive your instruction. We believe you. And as we move, we know that you've gone ahead of us. And we will see the manifestation of your promises in our lives. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.